Hi guys! You always hear me talk about how skincare is different and unique for each individual. And this is not only because of our skin type and skin issues, our age, believe it or not, also plays a big factor. This is why this video is going to be all about caring for your skin in your 20s, your 30s, and your 40s, especially if you have sensitive skin. Once again, I am Dr. Gila Bredovitas and I'm a board-certified dermatologist. I try to post one video a week here on YouTube all about skin and skincare. So if you guys want to be updated, please don't hesitate to click the subscribe and the bell button over there to be notified every time I post a new video. Let's start with skin in your 20s. So it hasn't been long yet. Hindi pa naman masyadong matagal. I used to be in that age group. Anyway, this is the time when you should be getting into that habit of doing a good skincare routine. One that works for you and one that you're willing to follow. Yung lifestyle natin when we were in our 20s, well, at least ako, most of us for sure experience staying up late, you know, partying, um, drinking alcoholic beverages, which can dehydrate the skin by the way, um, stress from work, and sometimes smoking. All of these can have consequences on our skin and our body if we don't limit them or cut them out entirely. Parang impossible naman yung cut out entirely. But at least try to manage or limit exposures to things that you know may be harmful for our skin and our body. Luckily, it is also at this age where our bodies recover pretty fast. I remember um, before I never used to experience mga hangovers, but now maha two or three glasses of wine lang ako para. Oh my God, sira na yung buong half day ko the next day. And our skin also continues to make collagen until our mid-20s. Kaya for those of you who are still in this age group, you should focus more on prevention because what you do can really affect how your skin and your body looks 15 to 20 years later. You know, I wish someone had told me this before. Kasi sana hindi ako masyadong nagbilad sa araw, naglagay ako ng sunscreen because, I mean, you don't see them now because I treat some of them with lasers but I do have pigmentation issues and bumabalik talaga sila. Now, when it comes to skincare products, I recommend the following. Number one is a good cleanser. Now, you always hear me talk about this. A good cleanser is something that effectively cleans without stripping our skin off of its natural lipids and moisture. Examples would be Soap-free cleansers, such as those with a pH of 5.5. Also, um, bars that have a neutral pH, especially for those with oily skin. Second would be moisturizers that contain ingredients like antioxidants, for example, that help you combat you know, whatever stressors you encounter during the day. Or those containing um, ingredients that hydrate the skin, like ceramides, for those of you who have dry and sensitive skin. And... Ingredients that control sebum production for those of you who are oil and acne prone like salicylic acid or your niacinamide. And then third would be sunscreen. So very important, I made a lot of videos on sunscreens and you can watch them if you have time. But I recommend buying something that is broad spectrum, meaning protects against UVA and UVB with an SPF of at least 30 or a PA of plus 3. And something that you are willing to apply and use on a daily basis. Me personally, I like to use um, sunscreens with an SPF of 50 plus because I have pigmentation issues. And for those of you who have been with me for quite some time, you know that I like to layer my SPF. So, I have moisturizer with SPF. I have my sunscreen, and occasionally I try to put, um, you know, compact or foundation with SPF. At this age, there's really no need to use other products like serums, your anti-aging products, your eye creams just yet. Unless, of course, you have a specific skin concern that you want to address. Sa totoo lang, especially for those of you with sensitive skin, the more products and ingredients you put on your skin, and I learned this the hard way, the more chances of you are acting or you know, irritated and having undesirable side effects. Next, we have skin in your 30s. So guys, um, proudly, I am still part of this group, pero medyo malapit nang mawala. But anyway, at this age, your skin unfortunately has stopped making new collagen. And your collagen and elastin also start to decline. And to add to that, yung skin turnover natin or yung pagpalit ng balat also starts slowing down. 
And speaking from experience, it is also when you start noticing the consequences of your actions before. Like I mentioned earlier, 15 to 20 years later, lahat ng mga ginawa mo sa balat mo, it will start to show up. Like pigmentation, for example, fine lines, um, even scars. And it is also when we begin to see the effects of our genes or our genetics, yung mga pinamana sa atin ng mga magulang natin, like um, dark circles, eye bags, and even large pores. Therefore, apart from, of course, continuing to prevent the signs of aging from coming out, we are starting to do damage control. Of course, to maintain your know, blemish-free, even-toned, plump, and youthful-looking skin. So, in terms of skincare products and what to apply at this age, in addition to 1, 2, and 3, um, when you were in your 20s, you may now start adding other products like your serums, for example, which contain higher concentration of your active ingredients like your vitamin C, which I personally like to use with vitamin E and ferulic acid, or eye creams if you have issues specific to the eye area, like hyaluronic acid for those experiencing dryness and fine lines. I would also definitely recommend that you start using retinoids because other than being anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, more importantly, they regulate your skin turnover, they improve pigmentation, they slow down collagen degeneration, and even stimulate collagen production, which results in less fine lines and wrinkles, and a smoother, more even-toned complexion. And lastly, exfoliation to help boost your skin turnover, which of course is not as efficient as when you were younger. And also to allow for a better penetration of the products and ingredients you put on your skin. You can use physical exfoliants, for instance, your gentle exfoliating cleanser, or you may opt to go with chemical exfoliants in the form of toners with low concentration acids or at-home peels that you can do once or twice a week. Or you may want to consider doing them in clinic with or without other procedures like your laser toning or LED with your dermatologist. Now, let's move on to skincare in your 40s. Ito yung pinagahandaan ko guys dahil medyo malapit na ako mag-cross over to this age group. By this time, and feel na feel ko talaga na ando na ako sa age na yan. Most of you, if not all, kabisado na nyo yung skin type nyo and identify nyo na yung mga skin issues nyo. And also, because we have been exposed to the elements in the environment for a longer period of time, the signs of aging become more apparent. Pigmentation, dryness, um, loss of volume, broken capillaries, slack skin, and wrinkles. Oh my God, napakadami, nakakuloka. Some women experience fluctuating hormones and can therefore have female adult acne, while others notice their pores and old scars becoming more obvious due to the decline in collagen and elastin. Now is the time when replenishing, repairing, and nourishing the skin plays an even bigger role and you will probably be making some changes in your skincare routine and your ingredients. For instance, ako, in the last two years, I have started incorporating facial oils, um, thicker creams, and balms into my nighttime routine. I also occasionally apply other ingredients like peptides, growth factors, and even snail mucin after I do a chemical peel. Remember also to pay attention to other parts of the body and not just the face especially your neck and your hands. These are the two parts that often get neglected and left behind. Individuals in this age group might want to consider doing in-clinic treatments and procedures like injectables, um, deeper chemical peels, laser resurfacing, and energy-based devices like radio frequency and ultrasound with your dermatologist to further improve your skin. And finally, don't forget to do a lifestyle check. Again, it's not all up to treatments and skincare products. Siyempre, how you take care of your body as a whole has a big impact on your skin. So, are you sleeping enough or at least dapat restful sleep? Are you eating a healthy and balanced diet? Are you exercising regularly? And are you minimizing stress? So, that's it for today's video. I hope you got something out of it. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!